Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tusk Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. This is a free-to-play account playing through the story of a 23rd century Starfleet officer. We are currently going through the Delta Quadrant storyline. In the last episode we completed the Kampali Crisis Act 3, finishing off that series of episodes, which was really cool, really good. You get to play with your friends, you get to do a sort of adventure zone, and the way that adventure zones should have been done, so not like any of the previous ones. Really well done, loved it a lot. In this episode though, we are moving on to Alliances. So this is where I think we're going to get back into quite a heavily story-driven set of episodes. Which I'm really excited about. Because there is a lot still to do. And a lot still to learn. Figure out. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into this. Let's jump straight into Alliances. The data from your mission against the Vardwar shows they're a bigger threat than we ever anticipated. Our forces are stretched thin. The Alpha Quadrant Alliance cannot fight a prolonged conflict in the Delta Quadrant. We must work to form an alliance of species here. Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are working on a plan and have requested your assistance. Awesome. Are we going to get to, um, ooh, hierarchy officer? Nice. Are we going to get to, um, see, meet a few more Delta Quadrant species then? Kind of recruit them into a group? That would be amazing. So we are moving to... Is that the Alianis system? El... El... Elians, Elian system. Okay, um, it is not far away at all, but I'll still meet you there. That was quick. We're coming up to the Elians system now. Oh, there's a ball cube. I don't want anything to do with that. Let's begin alliances. So we've arrived in the Allianz system. The USS Voyager is here along the USS Rhode Island and a few other ships. Admiral Tuvok is requesting your presence aboard Voyager. Very well. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, so he wasn't just going to help me. Okay, that's a lot of ships from different groups. This meeting must be especially, especially important. Is it really that many different groups? The normal sort of alliance, isn't it? Romulan, Klingon, Federation, Federation. And then just the Kabali that we've been grouped with already. And then a random Benthan guard. A huge amount of different groups. Let's beam to Voyager. Here we go. So we're back on the Voyager internal. Uh, which obviously I really love. I've told you a few times already. Admiral Tuvok is in the conference room with the other members of the task force. Follow me please. I'll take you to him. Lead the way commander. Yeah, I think I've already gushed over this enough. I won't bring it up too much. Seems like we're never going to get you that tour. Sorry. I'll do it now. The others are waiting for you in the conference room. All right. Um, conference room is that side. I remember now. So, now uh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I do get it. I was a bit disoriented then for a second, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... The Doctor, obviously. Seven of Nine, Tuvok, Kim, Neelix, and then just the Klingon and Romulan. So nothing about the, um, the a Kabali representative or Benthan, whoever they are. Let's approach the table. We'll see if it shows in the cinematic me getting off the table. No. All right. Let us begin. While the Kabali and the Benthans have agreed to join our alliance, there are many other races in the Delta Quadrant in a position to help us defeat the Vodwar. It will be up to us to show them the benefits of joining us. Seven, I would like you to contact the cooperative. The cooperative should be amenable to our offer. They have as much to lose as we do. Neelix, your experience as a trader makes you an excellent choice to work with the Hazari. The Hazari? This won't be easy, but I should be able to pull it off. Captain Kim, mm. we've arranged a meeting for you with the leaders of several Kazon sects. Ooh, really? I don't trust the Kazon, but I'll give it my best effort. Doctor, you have experience with the hierarchy. I would like you to infiltrate one of their ships and learn more about how they make decisions. Ooh, I have several new subroutines that will be perfect for this mission. As for you, I would like you to visit the Toure and the Octanti, and then provide support to any of the others who require it. We need allies to turn the tide of this war. We cannot fail. Thanks. 
You can leave if you return great. to the transporter room. Though there is some time to speak with the crew. You're wearing the wrong uniform there. Um, okay, so... I consider my knowledge of uh, Voyager pretty strong, I would say. But I can't off the top of my head remember who... Was it the cooperative that Seven of Nine was talking to? I can't off the top of my head remember them. And the hierarchy as well. I'm sure as soon as someone mentions the episode, I'm just remembering the name of somebody, but... Or forgetting the name of somebody, sorry, but... Yeah, I can't really remember those two. I assume they come up in the story, though, so I'm sure I'll, uh, I'll see it. Let's talk the to these guys. cooperative should be amenable to our alliance. I foresee no problems and should not require your assistance. I will inform you if the situation changes. I was hoping she'd give a bit more information about who they are. I'm not sure about the The Kazon case. are argumentative and difficult. Getting them on our side will be tricky. I'll be negotiating with the leaders of five of the clans. While I hope to bring them all on board, I'll be happy if we get one or two. It would be nice the Rhode to see Island me. is a tough Ooh. ship, but I'd be grateful if you could bring your ship to the negotiations. Yeah. The Kazon respect a show of force, and your ship might be just the thing we need to sway them to our side. Okay. Um, yeah, it would be nice to see the Kazon ships um, in combat. That'd be cool. I'd like that. And I never thought I'd be a spokesperson for this alliance myself. And to the Hazari! I guess all my time as a traitor and ambassador made Admiral Tuvok think I was the right to Laxine for the job. Knowing that you and your crew have my back is a great relief. The Hazari are tough negotiators. I I can't even remember the Hazari. I how weird. I'm missing so much. I've definitely seen every episode, so I will know. This them. is going to be interesting. I've definitely. never really tested my field intelligence subroutines, but Admiral Tuvok assures me they will perform well. He has been assisting me with the programming, and I've made an extensive study of intelligence and information gathering on my own. <laughs> I may require you to interact with the hierarchy and make the Alliance offer to them. If they think it's the best financial option, they may agree to join us. Okay. So it looks like even though other people have been given all these jobs, it'll be me doing most of the work. The Ture and the Octante have worked with us in the past. You should not find it difficult to make a convincing case for a renewed alliance. Obviously, I know the Ture. Uh, yeah. But Octanti, who are they? I'll head to the transport room and return to my ship. Why do I have to go to the transport room? All right. So yeah, I'm. Um, I, I thought I'd know all this. I thought I'd be good with this, but apparently not. Oh, wow, I Ready do to love this back ship. To your ship sir. This, this is so much better than the current than the other ones, basically. Love it, love it a lot. Yeah, beam me to the ship. <laughs> All right, give orders to crew. What's the plan, Captain? Admiral Tuvok asked us to visit the Tere and the Octanti. For what purpose? We're forming an alliance of races here in the Delta Quadrant. Getting everyone to join together against the Vardwar. Good idea. It won't be easy, but there's an old saying that applies. Join together or die alone. Much of the original crew of Voyager will be reaching out to other races. We are to assist them wherever we can. Well, the ship is running as best you can, Captain. What's our first destination? The Terray. From there, it's up to us how, who we deal with and where we go. Also, I kind of like the interactions with your crew there. That's good. Kind of brings them in, makes them a bit more real. I like that. Um, all right, we go straight to the tray system then. Nothing else to do here. All right. Uh, so we've arrived in the tray system. It seems notably calmer since we were last here. Oh yeah, because the Vardwar were attacking last time, weren't they? Long range scans are showing pickets of tray ships in orbit. There aren't any Vathon sensors, though. Looks like they left the terrain to defend for themselves. Picking up something odd in subspace. Captain, recommend we check it out before contacting the terrain. Better calls for the subspace disturbance, and we'll take some scans. Mm, okay, that's worrying. Yeah, the Voth were here helping the terrain defend against the, um, the Vardwar. Last time? Why are we getting the Voth involved? Maybe they'd help. Odd? It looked like there was a ship in subspace for a moment, but now it's gone. The Terrain use underspace, so it could have been one of their ships, but the Vardwa use underspace too. Whatever it was, it's gone now. The Terrain are not responding to our hail, sir. Perhaps if we get closer, we'll get their attention. Right? Go to the planet. 
I'm going to get ready for a fight. Just a little one. That's close enough. This is restricted space, and you're not welcome. Uh, we're on a diplomatic mission. We wish to speak to your government about security matters that will affect not just your home world, but the entire Delta Quadrant. We don't need your advice. Our Voth allies are more than strong enough to help us. Mm. Since you don't speak for your government, I suggest you connect me to someone that does. Very well. Ah. Ambassador Norik will speak with you now. Don't waste his time like you've wasted mine. Finally. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Ambassador, I would like to extend an offer from Admir Admiral Tuvok and the rest of the Alliance High Command for the Terai to join our fight against the Vardwar. We want no more alliances. The Turei have a mutual defense pact with the Voth, and it is quite sufficient for our needs. I see no Voth ships in this system, Ambassador, and if you recall, it was my crew and I who helped restore your defense grid back online during the initial Vardwar attack. Be gone! Be gone! I do not wish to order our pickets to fire upon you, but I will if I must. Ambassador, I think that... There are multiple underspace corridors opening. Sensors are picking up three Vardwar strike teams. Red alert, let's show the Drey how the Alliance can help defend their home. The Voth are on their way. I, I'm sure of it. Yeah? You're sure? Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Where are the Voth? Yeah, where are the Voth? Ooh! Did a lot of damage. That was a nice little knockback. Somebody did a lot then. Have the Voth abandoned us? Yep. Wouldn't be much of a storyline otherwise, would it? The assault cruisers seem to do um, significantly more damage. Hmm. Oh, I haven't got my fighters out. Obviously. Attention, any both ships. This is a priority emergency. We are under attack. Yeah, I need to keep my fighters in mind. That's a silly thing to not do. Oh, my tactical team. Got Twitch chat shouting at me to use tactical team. I keep forgetting that as well. All right. More fighters. Go, go, go. Nothing. Have oh. the Vaughn truly abandoned us to the Vaudoir? I wonder what's happened to the Voth actually. Isn't it a bit weird that they're not, they're not coming? Because the last time, we were actually about to get killed by the Voth, weren't we? When the attack on the Terre started, and they left and immediately came here like it was priority number one. So it's quite interesting that they're not here now. Nice. Ooh, items. Oh, nothing special. Alright. And then down here for the last one. An interdictor cruiser. Have I fought one of those before? I'm not sure.
Probably a pointless use of the Nimbus crew. Should have used it earlier, but... I definitely want to use them. bit painful. There we go. Nice. There is still satellite base. Oh, I thought I'd done that over there. Oh, sorry. All right. Let's go do that again. <laughs> Getting out of range of that is fine. All <laughs> oh, I thought I had two fighters there. One die. I need to keep an eye on that. There we go. More like it. Now I can try and convince the Terai. Terai. Terai? While your ship may be formidable, it is still no match for the Voth. We have already chosen our ally. Uh, this ship has defeated more Voth than I can count. Or your ships are no match for the Vardwai. You need our help. Or you're either too stubborn or stupid to see a good thing. Um... Hmm, okay, so the first one I think is what I'm going to go for. I don't want to insult them. And I think both of those are sort of insults. Yeah, let's go for the first one. Lies! This is all a deception so you can get your hands on the secrets of underspace. I do want those secrets, but opening the underspace corridors would all... Would all... Would... <laughs> for all, I guess, would be a boon for every species in the squadron. Or, that's a lie. The only thing we want for our protection is your agreement to help in the fight against the Vardwa. Or, the Vardwa use under space, and they are more powerful than your people. Or, I think, the only thing we want for our protection, yeah. What can you offer that the Voth cannot? It's just one demand after another with you. Honestly, you're not worth my time. Or, the Voth have yet to respond to your current distress call. We helped you without asking for anything in return. Well, not really. <laughs> We're kind of asking for something in return. You have given us much to think about. Upon consideration, I think this alliance is in the mutual benefit of all involved. <laughs> I will take your offer to my superiors with my approval, and then we'll send an attaché to your flagship to work out the details. That was a really quick turnaround, all right. It's a pleasure to call you an ally, Ambassador. Nice. All right, incoming transmission from Admiral Tuvok. It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the Toure were successful. We are reaching out to their embassy to begin our cooperation immediately. Understood, Thank Admiral. You. Darcy, let's pick our new destination. Okay, so these are all the different ones that we can go and help. This is cool. I like this. I, I was hoping we'd be involved in more. Um, okay, so... Uh, I guess there's no reason not to just start from the top, right? It's not. It hasn't hinted that we'll only get to do one or two, and therefore choices we'll make will actually matter. So I, I think I'm just going to start from the top. Rusan system to recruit the Octanti. Octanti? Who was going for the Octanti? This. Oh, this was me again. Yeah, I Greetings. had to do... I am on my way both. with several cooperative ships. It was simple enough to get them onto our side, but the real problem now is with the Octanti. The Octanti consular should be at your location now. Please begin discussions without us. We shall be there soon. All right, we'll hail the Octanti Consular's ship. Hopefully, I want to see them. If we can figure out who they are. Hello. Greetings. Hey. I am. I'm gonna launch some, launch some fighters. Greetings. I am Ambassador Rerick of the Octanti. Okay, I do recognise. Sort of, maybe. 
Do I recognize the stuff at the front? Good day, Ambassador. I've examined the proposal your government's transmitted, and I'm afraid the Octani people must decline. The Federation, the Klingon Empire, and the Romulan Republic all give rank and commissions to Borg drones. You call them liberated, but they are still Borg. The Borg drove us off our homeworld and massacred our people. An alliance with them would be unthinkable. <laughs> These drones, as you call them, are valued officers. They are free from the collective and no longer desire to assimilate anyone. Borg are Borg. We will not join your alliance. And we never will. Our people have lost too much already. I won't be led into another unwinnable war. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay. What? They don't look very Borgy. This oh, is Seven of Nine. Oh. A priority message for the Octanti. Uh, right. So the cooperative is that the liberated Borg that had um, Chakotay, was it? In uh, joined him into a collective when he crashed on their planet, or something like that. Is that them, or is the cooperative just um, maybe the sort of rebel Borg from Unimatrix Zero? Uh, the sort of dream state that she went in for a while? Oh, I don't know. We are in communication with them, Seven. Patching you in. Ambassador Rarick, the cooperative has a problem with which they require your assistance. An Octanti synthetic virus has infected a recently liberated cube, causing severe problems for the fragile consciousnesses of the former drones. They are falling to madness. Our sensors show the cube is moving in this direction. You are in danger. How would they even know about this meeting? Unknown. We need the Octanti to transmit the shutdown code for the synthetic virus. If done quickly, the liberated Borg aboard the cube may recover. Ambassador, I implore you to help the crew of that cube. They are no longer part of the collective and they need your help. Never! If the well, virus infected them, then our work is done. They will destroy themselves. Right, Seven, how soon before the infected cube arrives? It's arriving now. Your Here time is up. Here we go. Oh, is it going to be like cool silvery? Oh, I like it. Lower I like it a lot. Your prepare assimilated. <laughs> Ambassador, please deactivate the virus. There are thousands of liberated Borg on that cube who need your help. Listen to her. The Borg are a blight. The only course of action is extermination. They're going to kill you, surely. Your hatred has blinded you. Allow Octani to destroy a collective Borg ship. Or seven, can you open a channel to the cube? Oh. Um, seven, can you open a channel to the cube? Maybe we can reason with them. Attempt to save the collective Borg ship. I think we have to attempt to save it, right? What? Why are these damaged? What happened there? Um, yeah, I think we have to attempt to save the collective Borg ship. Rarick, where is Rarick? I know he is here. P please deactivate virus. Ah! Wait, what? Mask? Is that you? Uh, Rarick, you know him? That's my brother. Ha! He and four other Octanti volunteered to be infected with the virus and taken by the Borg seven years ago. I... I thought he was lost to us. It, right. This makes sense. This is cool. A bit, maybe too... Maybe a bit too coincidental? I don't know. No, I think it's fine. He's been liberta liberated by the cooperative. Deactivate the virus and you can save him. Deactivating now. Very quick turnaround again. Ah, it's not working. The cube's automated defenses are too strong. We'll need to weaken it before I can transmit the code. All right, let's damage it. It's going to try to defend itself. Red alert. All right. The Octanti are, are all too damaged to, to help out. Okay. Fine, I guess. Oh, is he? He's done. Yeah, okay. Rarick, 
We intercepted a transmission about your meeting. It was right. You were here. I fought the madness to get to you. Dangerous. But I knew you would not abandon us. Thank you. You did well, Meshk. Meshk, I'm so overjoyed to see you. I never believed in this liberation I did. It was a fantasy and grieving. But having seen it firsthand, hearing my brother's voice again, maybe I shouldn't have been so willing to dismiss hope. You will see that the Atati people seriously consider your proposal. We need to reconsider many things. You'll seriously consider it? All right. Consideration is a great start. I guess. Fine. I will too fuck again. We knew recruiting the Octanti was going to be problematic. Mm -hmm. You did exceptionally well with a very difficult task. Oh yeah. Understood, Admiral. Talsi, let's pick our new destination. All right. So, again, I see no reason to to vary. Let's just go from the top. Um. So this will be helping Neelix with the Hazari. Let's do it. Hazari. So we've arrived in the Neles system. This area is a hotbed for Hazari bounty hunters and pirates, so much so that the Benthans make regular sweeps through the area as well. Neelix's ship is waiting for us, sir. Alright, let's meet up with Neelix and see if he needs a hand. I'm going to take a wild stab at... yeah. Alright. So uh, it is over here, yeah. I wonder what this is. That looks like a cool ship. What is that? Alright, let's meet with Neelix. This is just a lot of Hazari escorts, Hazari frigates. Oh, thank goodness you've soup. arrived! I'm Back trying seat. to work with the Hazari, but they are a demanding lot. They're using this opportunity to melt the Benthans for everything they've got. They have demands? To say the least. First, they want the Benthans to void the warrants of three of the Hazari, Niken, Yakela, and Nagrasa. Then they want two prisoners released. And if that weren't enough, <laughs> they're demanding bounty hunting licenses for the Ramar, Zilman, and us printy systems. I think I should speak with them. Patch me through. Pleasure to see you again. I assume you can speak with more authority than this Talaxian. He has given me your list of requests. You're asking for quite a lot, but I'll speak with the Benthans and see if I can come to an arrangement. Then I wish you good luck. <laughs> Your offer is tempting, but we simply don't have any help to give you. All of my resources have to be focused on the Benthans breathing down our necks. I'm still trying to work this out, Idrin. The Benthans usually have a ship patrolling this area of the system. It's a neutral ground, but they know what can happen in neutral areas. The ship should be able to contact the Benthan High just a car for us. All right, laying a course. I guess that was the one that I just saw. It was that. The Benthans keep a close eye on this system. Lots of deals are made here. Benthan Guard Battleship. That was cool. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're connecting you to the Benthan High Justicar, Captain. On I am High Justicar Methan. I was told you needed to speak to me on a critical matter. We're building an alliance, slowly but surely. As a matter of fact, that's why I need your help. Oh? How can we assist you? We're trying to recruit the Hazari, but they have some, uh, demands? You'd be willing to look at the list. It's always demands when it comes to the Hazari. Yeah, that's true. Demands, deals, and contracts. Transmit their list. I haven't had a good laugh in days. To transmit the Hazari demands? There's no way we'd agree to all this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, perhaps you don't need to agree to all of it. What can you do? If the Hazari don't join us, the Bardwar may recruit them. Good point. Mm. Mm. I can rescind the warrants for Niken and Yakela, but not Nagrasa. He's caused too much trouble to let him go free. And the prisoners, I'll exchange them for Niken, if the Hazari will give him up. He's been raising havoc in three sectors. I'll give them one of the systems for hunting, but not all three. Let them choose which one they want. Okay, thank you for being willing to negotiate. I'll take you off to the Hazari. That seems fair. Will they give us what we want? Uh, no, but... Of course we knew they wouldn't give us everything. But if you don't ask for everything, you won't get anything. <laughs> hmm? 
as I was saying, they won't agree to all of your demands, but they were willing to negotiate. What? Uh, oh, I mean, good. <laughs> Let's see here. We give the Benthans Nikedon, and we get two of our captains back? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Nikedon is a Bashik Monar. I think the closest translation we have to your language is a pit where you throw your pack animal. Take right. him, but he won't go without a fight. Uh, we'll collect him and deliver him to the Benthans. Then we have a deal? Sure. I'll draw up the contract. Just transmit your authorization and you've got a deal. As soon as the Benthans deliver, the Hazari are part of your alliance. Nekedin is in hiding, but I'll give you an encoded signal to lure him out. He'll think it's one of our ships giving him the all clear. <laughs> you can use one of the Benthan satellites nearby to relay the signal. We send signals on them all the time. It'll lend to your credibility. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Cool. Right, so that is over this way for the satellite. I like how we're all just sort of pinned into this little corner of this massive map. All right, Benton satellite. A trap? Fine, I'll hmm. kill you then, my so-called friends. Oh, wow. Why have I not launched fighters already? Why am I so bad at this? I wish it would uh, recognise when you're using that Sith converter thing and not give you the warnings. Um, Alright. Arrest him? Fine, fine, fine. I won't lose my ship and crew for this. You've beaten me. As a deputised agent of the Benton Guard, you're hereby under arrest. Lower your shields and prepare to be transported to our brig. What? The Benthans? I thought I'd be going to one of your prisons. I can escape from one of those in a week. Are you going to come along? Lowering shields now. Just don't vaporize me. How cooperative of you. <laughs> All right, beam him over. We should take our prisoner to that Benthan patrol ship. Okay. This seems to be going pretty smoothly. Nice and easy. I like, I really don't get the whole use of the map. Why are we all just pinned in the corner? The Hazari seem a little too happy about this outcome. Mm. Even if Yadrin doesn't like Nekedrin, I didn't think he'd be so quick to give him up to the Benthans. They must have really hated him. I don't think that's the case. Hail Idrin, we need to talk. On behalf of all the Hazari, thank you for delivering that Grotok Nekedrin to the Benthans. Mm. What's your angle? Why are you all so giddy? Oh, what can it hurt now? We've got an airtight contract. Remember those hollow emitters we got from that Ferengi? He also sold us a nice, personal-sized one with a low-emission power pack. Hmm. We gave that one to Nekedon. <laughs> right about now, he should be slipping out of the brig and into the crew of that Benthan cruiser you delivered him to. <laughs> a spy on the High Justicar ship. <laughs> we'll know everything. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to tell the Benthans about it, obviously. Not so fast. Our contract specifically states that you cannot interfere in the matter of Captain Nikedin once you have delivered him to the Benthans. Telling them would be the very definition of interference. Um, right. <laughs> okay, so... I don't like it, but keep your spy. Stopping the Vardwar is more important than your petty games. Or, contract be damned, I'm informing the Benthans. So, stopping the Vardwar is the main goal here, but I I, I don't really think that's going to be a problem. So, I'm going to say, contract be damned, I'm informing the Benthans. Because I, I would, I think. Yeah. I have a channel open to Benthan, I just a car. Thank you to Matt. Is there anything else you need? The Hazari traitors. Nekedon is outfitted with a hollow emitter. He plans to escape your brig and blend into your crew as a spy. That explains those strange energy readings. Nekedon's already out of the brig. I'll start bioscans. We'll root him out. Thank you. 
I'm sorry about this. Alerting you will damage our relations with the Hazari, but I think it's worth it. And that's done. I'll meet you back at Voyager. So the Hazari aren't joining us now then, or, or are they still? They just don't like me as much. You did the right thing. Hmm. I am sure the Benthans are grateful that you revealed a spy in their midst. It is unfortunate that you could not keep yeah. the Hazari in the Alliance, but not every choice we make has a completely positive outcome. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Understand, Admiral Tarsi. Let's pick our new destination. All right, so, yeah, let's do the Doctor, the Hierarchy. So the Hierarchy I definitely can't remember. Hmm. All right, let's go see them. So we've arrived in the Pribble, Pribble system. Admiral Tuvok said the Doctor would be infiltrating a hierarchy ship if he made it in successfully. He should be waiting for our signal. All right, let's not keep him waiting. Go. Signal the Doctor. Where is this hierarchy ship, though? Hello again. I thought it would be best if I used your bridge's hollow emitters for this conversation. I'm currently in disguise on board the hierarchy ship as one of those potato-looking fellows. <laughs> And I don't think you want to see any more of this than you have to. It's fine, Doctor. What's the situation? The hierarchy assume I'm one of the crew. I've begun a review of their cost analysis matrix, which is what they use to determine if any particular course of action will be profitable. Right now, their ship is running silent, which means they're cloaked, and all higher-level computer functions are locked out. I need those to complete my review. You need to convince them to decloak. Oh, sorry. Hello again. I thought it the hierarchy assume I'm one of the crew. I've begun a review Hail of them, their show cost them the and the tide. All right. Which this is what we came here to do. The ship is currently cloaked by one of the nav beacons in this region of space. Just head to the nav beacon and you'll get their attention. All right, we've got the coordinates. Let's do it. Have I got the coordinates? Yeah. The hierarchy once corrupted my programming in an attempt to spy on Voyager. This seems Fitting. I do remember it. Okay, yeah. These subroutines are quite useful. Perhaps I'll write a hollow novel about my experiences as a spy. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a cool episode. I remember that one. That's close enough. Yeah. I don't want any trouble, but I would like to know how you knew our location. Uh, suffice to say that tracking you is just a taste of the Alliance's power. Join us in our fight against the Vardwar, and we can share that power with you. Hmm. Don't tell us your secrets and we won't tell you ours. As for your offer of an alliance, give me a moment to consider it. A moment? Yes. The hierarchy is consulting the cost analysis matrix. This is exactly what I needed. Hmm. This is going to take some time. We'll need to stall them while I get what I need. Right, your moment is up. I am sorry. But the hierarchy has evaluated the investment needed for such an <laughs> undertaking, and we find that the Alliance ships are simply outmatched by the Vatwar. Not true. There's no profit in losing. We'll stay out of this fight. I'm sorry, but I don't agree with your analysis of our capabilities. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Uh, your lead, right? Um, uh, perhaps we could arrange for a demonstration their abilities. That's the Doctor. I could reroute the cloaking device through our main deflector dish and create convincing holographic targets for them to fight. Sounds like a reasonable idea. You, you could do that. Very well. That will show us what these Alliance ships are capable of. Then we'll run the numbers again. Are you ready to prove your worth? Of course, you have no idea what my ship's capable of. Uh, uh, two holographic Borg probes coming up. All right. Borg probes? <laughs> Hardly a challenge. I want something big. Give me a Voth bulwark. Also, I don't care if they can just defeat the hologram. I want to see how well this person works with their <laughs> crew. Anyone can throw firepower at something. It's another thing to be a good manager of people. A Voth bulwark. Very well, we can handle it. One Voth bulwark. Coming up. But because the Doctor is creating the hologram, he could create it and make it a bit weaker. Just to help me out, you know? I'm not saying he should. I, don't, I wouldn't cheat. I'm not a fan of cheating, but, you know, he could. 
This should be fine now. Right, let's give it a go. The Matrix is struggling to adapt to your shield. Oh, come on, get around the other side. Come on. He's everything. Wow, this is really tough. Let's phase it chroniton torpedo salvo, okay. I think this is fine. I've taken out all of his or his shields are much weaker at least. I'm just waiting uh, should I maybe wait thirty seconds for these. Yeah, let's do it. The Matrix is struggling to adapt to Keep it up. Seem to break through his, uh, his tank. And get into like 45% and then he just boosts back up again. Ooh. Right. As soon as these uh, are off, yeah, let's do this. Done. Now you can finish off the bot bugger. Okay. Here. Let me give you a hand. That was all part of it then, keeping it at that level so that they could recalculate everything. Cool. All right. Well, that worked. That was easy enough. Uh, talk I, I, I don't believe it. Run the numbers again. <laughs> hmm. Very well. It seems that we underestimated you. If other ships are like yours, we'll gladly join your alliance. But the ships aren't like mine. Don't worry. That's a real board, Lorbe. All right, let's get the doctor back without taking them off, tipping them off to him being there, I guess, hopefully, and then to travel to Zubak again. Excellent work, Doctor. Your recordings of the hierarchy's cost analysis matrix will be a great benefit to Starfleet intelligence. And you. I must say, bringing the hierarchy into the Alliance is quite unexpected. I thought it would take weeks mm -hmm. of back-channel negotiations to make any progress with them at all. Thank you for taking a risk. Your show of power must have been most impressive. Oh, yeah. Understood. Let's pick our new destination again. And there's only one left, which is the Kazon. So I'm looking forward to seeing the Kazon ships. I want to see those sort of big motherships that they had. They were cool. And they were massive. Although, would they be massive compared to this? Because Voyage is quite small, really, isn't it? All right, we've arrived in the Bremark system. Looks like Captain Kim's deep in negotiations with the Kazon. Let's see if he needs assistance. These are... Glad to see you. It seems the Kazon don't believe we have enough ships to stop the Vodwar. I keep telling them we'll have the numbers if we work together, but they keep insisting they need more information. I think these are just the normal sort of frigate-style ships. Yeah, there's nothing really big there. Okay. Um, Kazon. This is Admiral Meridian of the Myrmidon. Oh, that's quite difficult to say. I didn't think of that combination. Kazon, this is Admiral Meridian of the Myrmidon. As you can see, we do not have a shortage of ships. Well, two. More ships! I demand to see more! Uh, we can't get the entire fleet here at once. Our scouts have reported seeing Voyager in the Delta Quadrant again. We want hmm. to see that ship! Voyager? Uh, Captain Kim, that's an oddly specific request. Yes. I wonder... I'm going to try something. Things might get dicey if my suspicions are correct. Okay. So I guess they're going to attack Nelik, the USS Voyager is not available. If there is anything about it that you need to know, I can answer those questions. I was stationed on Voyager during its time here in the Delta Quadrant. Let's listen. You were on Voyager? That's excellent news. If you're willing to vouch for your fleet's strength, Captain Kim, we are ready to join your alliance. Hmm, that was too easy, Captain Kim. You're telling me? Wait a second. They just transmitted a coded signal. 
There's a ship just outside sensor range. Probably waiting for Voyager to arrive. Got a yellow alert. Ensign Harry Kim. Or is it Captain now? Finally got a promotion. I hope you enjoyed your life, Captain. It ends, ends now. now. There you go. So there. Are they meant to be the properly big ones? I think in comparison, the sort of frigates to the big carriers, that there was a much bigger difference in size in the in the TV show. If these are meant to be the big ones. Okay. Captain Kim, do you know this Kazon from your time here? I don't know. You have me at a disadvantage. You know my name, but I don't know who you are. At least give me the courtesy of an introduction to the man who's going to kill me. My name is Sesson, but that means nothing to you. You would have known my mother. <gasps> you served with her on Voyager until Whoa. your Captain Janeway's hatred and prejudice drove her into exile with the Kazon, where she was a brave and capable leader. Tell me, Captain Kim, do you ever think about what you did to Seska? Seska, then you must be... We didn't even know you were still alive, Sesson. Your father took you when he left Voyager. No? Alright, so, unlike my mother, I survived my contacts with the peaceful Federation. I live, and now I lead the Kazon Nistrum. Wow. Okay, so we're going to contact another Kazon Marge while leaving Com Captain Kim to talk to Sesson. Why are we gonna? Why are we talking to another one? Well, Sesson and Captain Kim squabble over old hurts. I would like to make you an offer. The Relora. They were one of the big ones, I think. Okay, I'm listening. My clan has taken over a new planet, but the climate is arid and water is in short supply. About a hundred of your terraforming systems would change our prospects for the better. If you will provide them. I'll pledge the loyalty of the Kazon Relora to you right now, as well as the ships of all the clans who are our allies. That's quite cool. If I had the terraforming systems, I guess I could do that. I, I guess they're like a, a commodity that I could have had in my inventory. Um, but that, that's, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, but for now, I'm sorry. But we don't have that many terraforming systems. Perhaps we can find another way to reach an agreement? How unfortunate. The Kazon Nistrum have agreed to give us some resources, but their price is high, and Sesson isn't the most trustworthy man to deal with. However, they are willing to help us, and you <laughs> are not. Oh, all right, get over it. Shields up, red alert. Ooh. I knew Kazon could hold a grudge, but not for this one. All right, interesting. Not all the clans are siding with Nistrum. The few are fighting with us. So I guess that would have um, made it more likely that others would join me instead of them. It's interesting. Ooh ah. I haven't seen the last of the Kazan Nistrum. Kazan Nistrum. These are the carriers die pretty quick. They're not particularly. Oh, pets! Sorry. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I come into maps, I should just be launching fighters, right? I mean, the worst thing that happens is I just don't get to use them. That's not a problem. Fine. Nice. So the main kid, Sesson, is the one that got away, I guess. Kind of makes sense. Might come up again in the future. All the buttons. Target 
Interesting that the um, the Ogler were one of the ones to join us, weren't they the, the first ones that we met? On the on the caretaker planet. Maybe. I apologize for the deception. Mage Session holds a great deal of power over the rest of the Kazon clans. Marge, not me. I hope my actions here will convince you that our desire to assist you against the Vodwar is sincere. I believe so, but I've got to check with Captain Kim, apparently. The Kazon are very factional. I can believe that Sesson strong-armed them into acting as they did. I would like to welcome the Kazon Ogla and the other allied Kazon to the Alliance. Agreed. Incoming transmission for Captain Kim on screen. I heard you tried to get the Kazon Relora to join the Alliance. I would have helped if I could, but I had my hands full with Sesson and the Kazon Nistra. Sesson is obsessed with Voyager. I don't know what his father told him about us, but Seska was a thorn in our sides for most of our early time in the Delta Quadrant. She certainly wasn't the victim. She was the aggressor. Yeah. It looks like her hatred of Voyager has been passed on to her son. I wish he could have had a better legacy. I'll return to Admiral Tuvok in the Alyan system. See you there. Understood. Let's pick our next destination again. And that's it. We're done. So I'm, I've just read in Twitch chat, and I really should have known this already, but I've just read that I could have crafted the um, the commodity that they asked for, the terraforming things. I could have crafted them in the replicator, or replicated them, obviously being the right word there, um, and then used them. So I should have known that. I, I'm not going to chalk that up to the game not giving you enough information. I, I should have known that and been able to figure it out. That's just me being stupid. So um, yeah, that's something that I've missed there. That would be quite easy to have got more Kazon on board. Uh, which could be quite cool. I wonder if that actually makes a difference later on in the storyline. That will be interesting. Let's find out. Our success on this mission falls within expected parameters. Some of the races are willing to join us, but others did not see the wisdom of working together toward a common goal. We will continue our efforts. Perhaps if we take a different approach with those who are still reluctant, they will see the value of cooperation. Okay, we did our best, Admiral. I think that's cool. All right, that's it. I think we, we got the vast majority of them on board, right? It's only the Hazari and the um, some of the Kazon that we didn't, I think. That's cool. That's got to be a victory. And that should be the end of alliances then, right? Yeah. Admiral Tuvok sent me a report on the situation. Hopefully the work we've done today will pay off. The Vardwar are a large threat, one that cannot be ignored. The Vardwar lost everything 900 years ago when their enemies united against them. It shows how arrogant Gaul is that he's allowing it to happen again. Yeah. And I'm going to get a, a new bridge officer. A hierarchy officer. Cool. Nice. I, I like that sort of format of an episode. That was that was really good. That was fun. Fun. Enjoyable. I don't know why I just clicked that off. I need to get that back up. Um, but yeah, that, I, I like that a lot. Um, I wish more things were like that. And it'll be interesting to see if there is like a long-term effect. So the ones that we didn't get on board, will that actually change the way some of the missions work later on? Or if there's like a final fight, will it actually make the fight more difficult or easier, depending on who you have? Um, I'd like to think it has sort of a massive overarching effect but it'll probably more be more like mass effect where you spend the whole like 80 hours of gameplay building up forces and in the end it just makes no difference whatsoever but um still quite cool still really cool i hope i do hope it comes back up um so that was uh, alliances yeah it was alliances um so next episode we'll move on to revolution which is cool. Commander Eldex. That's the guy that helped us before. Awesome. All right. That was Alliances. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you are enjoying. Hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online.